Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how I created this image of Harry Potter's Hogwarts Castle from this photo I took while visiting Universal Studios in Florida. I'll gladly email you the photo if you like, so you can use it to follow this tutorial. Just contact me at my YouTube channel, Blue Lightning TV. It's always a good idea to make a copy of the original image. We'll drag the layer to the New Layer button. Go to Filter, Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. It will open the Smart Sharpen window. For this photo, the amount is 500% and the radius is 0.5 pixels. The structure on the lower left clearly doesn't belong in our scene, so we're going to remove it using CS5's new feature, Content Aware Fill. If you don't have CS5, you can always use the Clone Stamp tool. I'm using the Lasso tool to draw a selection around the pole. Go to Edit and Fill. This opens the Fill window. Make sure you see Content Aware. Content Aware Fill automatically removes the pole and replaces it with the background. We need to remove Hogwarts and the trees from this sky, so we'll use CS5's Quick Selection tool to draw a selection around the castles and trees. Make sure the middle brush with the plus sign is checked and use a low number for the pixels. Click on your mouse or pen as you drag down. The Quick Selection tool finds the edges and instantly fills it with a selection. Don't worry about being careful around the trees, since the Refine Edge feature will take care of that. Just click the Refine Edge button. The Refine Edge window will open. If you click on View, you can choose which background you find best to view your selection on. For this selection, we'll keep Overlay as our choice. Click the Smart Radius button and move the radius up until you see a little bit of feathering around the edges. Click on the Refine Radius tool and choose a fairly large size for the brush. Just start brushing around the branches of the trees and magically the trees appear. Just brush around to ensure you have a good quick mask of all the areas. We'll choose our Output Selection to be New Layer with Layer Mask. Check Decontaminate Colors. What this does is it removes the background color fringe that contaminates the edge of our selection. We'll slide the amount up a bit and then go to Adjust Edge. Feather it out to one pixel and the shift edge is minus 4%. We need to place Hogwarts and its surroundings on its own layer, so we'll click on its layer mask and hold while pressing Control on a PC or Command on a Mac. This will create a selection. We'll click on the castle and press Control J or Command J on a Mac to cut the selection and place it on its own layer above. To save time, I placed a photo I retouched of a stormy sky in the Layers panel. This will be our new background for Hogwarts. We'll drag this layer below the Hogwarts castle, and then we'll click on the castle to activate it. We'll hold down and press Control or Command on a Mac to bring up the selection. Press Control H or Command H on a Mac to hide the selection. Grab your brush and make sure the mode is color. We're going to paint over the steeples and roofs to kind of desaturate the bluish hues in them. We want to make a new layer of this composite, so we'll press the New Layer button and then press Control shift alt e or Command shift option e on a Mac to do this. Click the New Layer button again and press Alt-Delete or Option-Delete on a Mac to fill that layer with black. We're going to create the rain layer now. Go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. The amount is 100%, Distribution is Gaussian, and Monochromatic is checked. Go back to Filter, go into Blur, and then Motion Blur. We'll keep the angle at 90% and the distance is 13 pixels. We need to adjust the contrast now, so press Ctrl-L or Command-L on a Mac to bring up the Levels window. 
For the input levels, we'll put the black at 44 and the white at 159. We'll bring down the output level white to 196. Go back to the Layers panel and change the mode from Normal to Soft Light. The rain is way too white, so we'll bring down the opacity to 40%. Because the perspective of the castle is at a dramatic angle, the rain should also be coming down at that same angle. Go to the Navigator window and make the view of our image smaller. Press Ctrl T or Command T on a Mac to call up Transform. Go to Edit, Transform, Perspective. Grab one of the bottom corners and pull outward until the angle of the rain matches the angle of the sides of the castle and the steeples. Press Ctrl O or Command O on a Mac to bring up the screen again. We'll click on the New Layer button and press Ctrl Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E on the Mac to take a picture of the composite and place it on that layer. Press Ctrl J or Command J on a Mac to make a copy of that layer. The color and saturation of our stormy scene need to be adjusted. Press Ctrl U or Command U on a Mac to bring up hue saturation. Click on Colorize and go into Hue and type in 225. Go back to the Layers panel and reduce the opacity to about 45%. So here is our finished Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry in all its stormy glory. Very different from the original photo taken at Universal Studios. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Blue Lightning TV. There you'll find great tutorials, tips and tricks in Photoshop and After Effects.